Yo, another day, another dollar with your homeboy, Jermaine, and this morning it is, well it's not morning anymore, Tuesday, 1.24pm, and I am just uploading yesterday's vlog. I got like super sick yesterday, don't really want to talk about yesterday, if you really want to see what happened yesterday, watch yesterday's vlog, but I just want to fill you guys in on what I've been doing right now. So this morning, like I've been in bed like all day, I've been really sick, my stomach's twisted and I said I wasn't going to talk about me being sick, but anyway, I finished my Amazon paperwork this morning. Yay, Jermaine's going to be on Amazon Flex, but what I'm trying to figure out is um, how do I do it with a bike? Um, my homies in New York told me that you have to sign up as a car and then you have to email them and say, hey, I want to be a biker and they'll change you in the system to be a biker. And I really want to be a biker because the homies in New York were making like 22 bucks an hour um, doing Amazon Flex. And a lot of times they were not busy. Sometimes they were busy. Sometimes you're just sitting around waiting on another request, but you're still getting the 22 an hour or the 24 an hour. I don't know. It may be a little bit higher in the Bay Area versus New York. I don't really know anyone in the Bay Area that does Amazon Flex. So this is like a whole another platform. But I will say this. If like... Once I get on Amazon Flex and I really, really like it, I may actually just only do Amazon Flex because I really like Amazon as a company. I sort of jumped on the Amazon bandwagon really, really late, but yeah, if, yeah, if I'm accepted with Amazon Flex, I'm going to wear Amazon Flex out. Finally going to the city, it's around 3. I think I'm going to try out some Uber Eats because I received a message saying that if I didn't do a delivery in X amount of days, I would... um be deactivated of some sort so I'll just go out do one delivery see if anything changed up see if they're paying out more and see if that one delivery helps me qualify for other bonuses and incentives so uh, yeah that's the game plan for now I feel a lot better I mean I just can't like lay here all day like I just got to get out breathe some fresh air and just do something different so uh, yeah I definitely don't feel like water right now I feel like one of these Mexican cokes I was looking for a food bag and I actually found one here in Target. They had two left so I just jacked them both because I know I'm going to forget another one soon. Oh, there's my bike over there. Back at WeWork now. It's falafel time. And check out this email I just got from Caviar. They are killing it with these bonuses tomorrow night. Up to 75% peak on Wednesday. It starts at 5 p.m. That's crazy. Bonus. 15 for every four orders. That's pretty dope. Um, I, I will definitely be online with them tomorrow night. But we'll have to see what um, everyone else is throwing out, like DoorDash and Uber. <laughs> Uber, I'm sure they're not throwing out anything. But yeah, we'll have to see what everyone else is throwing out. Just accepted the first caviar delivery. Bike is fully charged up. I'm ready to go get them. Picking up this order in Chinatown, and I wish I could have filmed cycling here. It was one heck of a bike ride. A lot of, you know, swerving in and out of traffic. It was a lot of fun. Just picked up this order after waiting 25 minutes outside of the restaurant. It's not going that far away. No, let me take that back. It's going like on the other side of Soma. It doesn't feel like it's that far, but it is kind of far. Majority, it's flat the whole way, so. That's what I'm really enjoying. Let's get this party started. Don't look like I'm gonna do too many deliveries tonight. I mean, I spent so much time at this past restaurant. I wonder what the bonus will be. It'll probably be like $3 and I waited out here for like 25 minutes. Outside of this Uber pickup now and my phone won't cut on. This is so weird. Like, I, like my phone was literally at 100% all day. Like all day because I've had it plugged in and now it's off and it won't cut on. So. I could probably go in there and get the order, but I wouldn't know exactly where the order was going. I did glimpse at the map; it was going like to the marina. But like I said, I don't know that. I don't know the exact address, so I can't really take it. Just picked up that order. Finally got my phone to cut on. Now this order is going to the marina, but luckily there is a flatter route that's just right down here that I can take. And uh, I'm gonna drop this one off. I'm so eager to see what the payout is on this item. I'm so eager to see. My guess is it's probably about $6, no more. But we'll see. And maybe this could um, get me to qualify for some bonuses and incentives. Sorry if you guys can't see me. It's like super dark over here. It's like residential streets. That's why it's not lit up like downtown. But uh, yeah, I got a pretty big hill to go up and about what six blocks can you guys see anything just finished that drop off and let's see what what it what the payout was 
This one, it's not telling me now. I'll tell you in a minute, whenever it pops up, it's not telling me now. Yo, so in this Uber delivery, remember I said it would be about five or six dollars? No, five dollars and 47 cents. And this was a 28 minute delivery. Dang, check out this scene. This dude was going the wrong way, like literally the wrong way. You can't drive up into a store. Poor guy, you gotta get that right. All right, check out this angle. Dang, the police just uncuffed him. <laughs> just accepted a batch order on caviar. That means I got two drop-offs. That's pretty cool. Um, just gonna go start that now. I already knocked out that caviar order. Now I'm back at WeWork. I'm gonna pick up my bike and hold on. Request. Ooh, it's another caviar order. Dang, this one is like two blocks away and it's going towards Embarcadero. And then Embarcadero is the last BART stop. So I'm gonna accept this one and then cycle down, and drop it off. And then from that way, we just jump on BART and Embarcadero and then go back to Oakland. I can't believe it though. So Uber deliveries, they don't let you make any money. I mean, come on, what is. $5.47, like, who can live off of that? Like, that must be a joke. The joke is on me. The joke is on you. The joke is on the person that does that freaking $5 delivery. But people are doing them. That's because people receive different bonuses and incentives. This week, I didn't receive any bonus. Well, I did receive one bonus. That bonus was complete 30 deliveries and get $50. But come on, that's not a really good bonus. I mean, for me to complete 30 deliveries, it's gonna take me, what, 28 minutes to make $5.47. That's just gonna take too long. But there's other people out there that are receiving emails like, you get $35 an hour if you go out and do Uber Eats deliveries. Now that's a whole different guarantee. 35 bucks an hour, that's a whole lot better than what I'm making now, which is roughly, what, $10 an hour, or even less than that. But also with that $35 an hour or $34 an hour that they offer you, you still have to pay commissions out of that. And that's just, that's just too confusing. Caviar sent out an email talking about how tomorrow night you can make like $32 an hour. The difference between that email and what Uber sends out is on Caviar, the $32 an hour that they're talking about, their bonuses, their cuts are already taken out of that. With Uber, there's cuts and then not only there's cuts, it's really difficult to, to actually get the bonus because you have to accept X amount of trips per hour and your acceptance rating has to be, you know, 80% or 85%. 85% acceptance rating doesn't really sound that hard, but let's say you do four deliveries and you miss one delivery, now your acceptance rating is 75%. So tell me how hard is it to keep an acceptance rating higher than 85%? I mean, you would have to do like eight deliveries and miss one. But who's to say that people are even missing them? Because I went out and did a bunch of these Uber deliveries and it was like, I would accept every single request. It's like I'm not missing any requests. Like I'm driving dangerously because I'm staring at my phone the whole time so I will not miss a request. And for some reason I never get the bonus. We'll have to see if I qualify for any bonuses or incentives next week. Cross my fingers that I do. Bye bye, good night. All right, here's the last drop off. I just called them and they're gonna come down and pick it up. I, they're not gonna let me go up. But um, yeah, after this one, time to jump on BART and get ready to do all this over again tomorrow. Back at my house now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make some pasta. I really wanted some Chinese food, but it's a little too late to order Chinese food now. So uh, yeah, pasta is the next thing that's on the list. Where's the pasta? Where's the pasta? Is it here? No, this is not my pasta. I gotta find my pasta. This is the final cut here. Spaghetti, pasta, and sliced onions to give it extra flavor. And as I was coming home, Vanessa had this in the oven. This is a vegan brownie, and it's made with banana instead of egg. This is really, really yummy. Um, I haven't tried any of this yet because I am trying to eat the rest of this. This is the second bowl. And then I'm gonna come over here and have a couple of these squares and yeah, I'm gonna call it a night, finish the pasta, have some brownies, watch some YouTube videos, and pass out. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace. 
Yeah, now it's time to fill the dishwasher.